Hey what's up guys my name is Kashif and in this video I will show you best alternative of Adobe Acrobat so let's begin So the software we are talking about is Wondershare PDF Element Wondershare PDF Element is a speedy lightweight yet surprisingly powerful PDF editing application. I love it and let me tell you why. PDF element does what I didn't think a non-Adobe PDF editor could do. It lets you to edit and annotate PDFs, add, delete and rearrange the PDF pages, convert practically and document to a PDF, convert PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, PDF to PowerPoint, PDF to text, PDF to image and other file formats. You can also create and fill out the PDF forms edit text directly in a PDF, rotate, split and crop PDFs, add watermarks, headers and footers and page numbers to the PDFs and many more. All that and it won't cost you over $150 a year to use. PDF Element Standard without OCR cost only $69 while PDF Element Professional with OCR cost you around $89. Moving, deleting or rotating pages in a PDF or combining PDFs are the tasks I most often do on a day-to-day -day basis. You can do this with the free software but it's a pain, especially when you all want to do is splice two scanned pages together and fire it off in an email before you run out the door. PDF element lets you manipulate the pages in PDFs from the menu bar or the thumbnail tab. Both of these are RAM stand of the Bluebeam, Review and Acrobat and it works well. You can edit and annotate. PDF element lets you edit text and object directly in the PDFs. For PDFs that were generated electronically, for example a Word doc, spreadsheet or a web page that was printed to PDF, modifying text and images is incredibly pedestrian for the PDF element. Click the edit text button and the PDF magically turns into an editable document. In addition to editing existing text and images, you can add new text and images. It's almost like you were editing it in Word. You can create and convert it. When Adobe Acrobat started supporting conversion of PDFs to editable documents like Word documents and Excel spreadsheets, I thought it was black magic. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that PDF element has this feature as well. You can convert to the usuals like Word, Excel, PPT, image, text and some more obscure formats like HTML, RTF, HWP and HWPX. Those are not all the PDF elements feature but those are the one that I frequently use and have frequently used in other programs. So is PDF worth it for you? Although much more affordable than Acrobat or Bluebeam Review, $69 is still a chunk of change. There are free PDF editors and viewers like Foxit, Smartra PDF and various online PDF editors. Among these, you can cobble together the free feature in a pinch. If all you want to do is convert something to PDF or rotate and combine a few pages, but if you need to do some serious work with PDFs on an ongoing basis, or even for a major project like designing a new house or proofing a novel, then PDF element is definitely worth the investment. For the most purposes, it does everything Adobe can do. You can edit the text, convert file types to any form, password protected and many more. Plus, it's fast and intuitive and work on Windows, Mac and iOS. For small business and freelancers, PDF element is a good investment and a worthy competitor to Adobe. I recommend giving it a try. So that's it for this video. Like, comment and share this video. Subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.